Hello my friends, welcome back. Today we are in the small village of Bezenitz. Home to the vineyards, plum trees, and one really foreign guy from New Zealand. Yep, you guessed it, that's me. Today we have a folk festival in town to celebrate the harvesting season for the grapes. It's my mission to give to you a foreign guy's view on such a different world. On this adventure today, we have music, food, sword fights, me, big barrels, crowds, dancing, me eating food, sword fighting, and there's more. So keep watching, my friends. So the parade. It was one we nearly missed because I drank so many beers last night that you wouldn't believe it. Me coming from a New Zealand background, I haven't seen such cultures as a European culture. And it was so interesting. The way they dress, the way they dance, and the way they go, yay! was just so different to what I am used to back home. There's definitely no huckers here, but if you wanted to see a hucker, you'd have to check out one of my previous videos. So, I should talk about this guy called Bacchus. This guy is the god of wine and ecstasy. Unfortunately, there were too many police here. He could only bring the wine, but Bacchus is always surrounded by women and wine. What a great combination. Who could go wrong here? And you know what? Maybe even next year, I might try out to be Bacchus. It could be a great day for me. And this photo is by far my favorite of Bacchus. It makes me feel like I have a chance in life. It was time to hit center stage and find out what these ladies were singing about. From what I could translate, they were trying to find the perfect man. Little did they know I was standing right here. But in the meantime, they had created a man out of hay, which I thought was pretty cool because he was dry and flammable, just like me the next morning after drinking so much alcohol. Next, they brought the kids onto the stage and they were so cute. I wanted to take one home like a puppy at a bridesmaid party, but apparently it's illegal, so I left them there. we have another wine festival and I know it seems like I drink a lot but that's a massive part of the culture so I'm trying some more bur burchak alrighty friends I thought I'd stop you there and we will talk about burchak belly so beware this is not for the faint hearted burchak is a young wine fermented from the freshly squeezed grape juice it tastes absolutely delicious going in, but the fermentation doesn't stop there. And this is the period where we get Burchak Belly, a mixture of gases in the belly that are trying to find any means of getting out of you. Try not to drink too much of it, because it always comes back to get you. But I'm not going to tell you what to do, drink as much as you like, but beware the Burchak Belly. This one's absolutely delicious, and I'm going to take you around my town tonight, so come on. After drinking a few cups of Burchak, the gases in my body started to come out from everywhere. It was time to settle my stomach with some beautiful food, and all I could think of was a beautiful deep-fried langosh. I bet you're thinking, what is a langosh? Well, it's great you ask. Langosh is a Hungarian street food, and it's only made with flour, water and yeast, and a few other things. It's a deep-fried bread, and is super crispy and can be topped with anything you like. Some of the best toppings are tomato, cheese, mayonnaise, garlic, and there's so much more. You definitely have to try one. If you go to any kind of festival, they will have langosh there. Today I got uh, cheese, garlic, and uh, tatarska, which is like a, a Czech mayonnaise. Let's give it a go. Mm. Mm. It's one of the best things I've ever had. Definitely give it a go. So, I don't know about you guys, but I have never been to a sword fight in my entire life. And I'm just going to replay this a few times because this move was awesome. It was sensational. And I would go back to any sword fight any day of the week. These guys are pulling out all the moves. Obviously, it's choreographed, but... It was just really, really cool to watch.
After exploring endless tunnels and drinking endless wine, it was time for me to get a pick-me-up before the party started. And just before you lead to conclusions, I have been lost before and I will get lost again. So I'm writing my name and my number on my arm so I don't forget. And when I say pick me up, I mean when they pick me up, they will find this number. It's just a pen, friends, and it is the best pen I've ever seen in my life. After spelling my name too many times wrong, it was time to heat up the main tent and listen to some Moravia music. The music is really cool, and it revolves around the chick in the middle playing that big thing, I think it's called a cymbalin, and some other string instruments. The songs are usually about drinking, woman, life, and pretty much anything in general. Well, at least from what I can translate myself, it does help to drink a few glasses the wine because it makes the language a little bit easier to understand but in saying that you know what if the music thing isn't your scene definitely find a friend with a wine cellar because that makes everything way better have you actually ever seen anyone pull wine from a barrel it's a pretty cool process you kind of have like this big glass instrument and you suck the air out and the wine follows and then it's ready to be poured wherever you want it think of it like a massive glass straw, except you don't use it to drink. But also, if barreled wine isn't your thing, there's definitely some bottled wine down in the cellar. So let's go take a look down there and see what we can get. Maybe. What maybe can we try, Mr. Yeah, Philippe? Yeah, we'll do one, uh, maybe uh, white. Okay, white. Nice choice. Okay, uh, we will take Is Chardonnay. That... <laughs> Once you've found the perfect bottle of wine, just remember that the singing is not done with. The show must go on. Sometimes being the only foreigner in this place is quite hard because it means I don't understand that much. And this is no exception. <laughs> I hope you liked that video, guys. I had fun making it for you and only you. Definitely going to be bringing out some more videos pretty regularly, like twice a week. I've just got to figure out what day to publish them. But more videos coming. So please, if you like the content, like and subscribe. That'll be legendary. And uh, I will see you around.